This video is a collaboration with Nigel from GoCreate Hobby Machine Shop. And Nigel, he built this baby vise. What Nigel wants to do is build three more of these baby vises and give them to the veterans knife making workshop. And to do this, He's asking some volunteers to make some parts for these vices. And of course, Nigel wants me to make the jaws for these baby vices. So here are the dimensions. It's uh, 51 millimeters, about 2 inch. And the others uh, are marked here. And this is the finished product. Now I made only one, but he needs three sets, which means, of course, six jowls. One unique thing in this video is that this time I have a prime, a real one. So, let's do this. speed up the work a bit, I gotta do every time the same operations. So now I'm doing the first part, the first phase of the first part, then I'm gonna do the others, and then I'm gonna flip it around to the second phase five times, and then the side five times. So I'm gonna win a little bit of time not every time changing the setup, but always keeping the same. One side is done on all the parts, so now I'm bringing them to thickness, thickness of 5 mm. Faster, I stack them all together. This height is now 20 millimeters, and I have to bring them down to 12. So first, I'm gonna rough out one side, so leave one millimeter over, and then do one by one the other side.
a wire because the parts and the parallel have the same thickness. So now I'm sure my part is a secure device. All at once, line them up a bit, right. I've been told that if you stack several parts together they never come out the same. There's always different. So let's find out. Let's see how much difference we have between these five parts. So between the biggest one and the smallest one there's not even one tenth of a millimeter. I think that will do. When Nigel made his baby vise he cut some uh, knurling hair in this uh, chops. But here on the plan is marked steel jaw, harden and temper, 55 Rockwell. Yeah. Material is ground flat. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, leave them flat or make an earl. Let's call him. Nigel? Yes? What do you mean? No. No. What? I don't have your number. I think I'm gonna stick to the plan because if I leave these little jaws flat they will not damage the work pieces. I think it will be much better. Let's drill the holes. <laughs> That could work. Okay, all the pins are in place. 
that seems to work fine and of course I also made a bozo pin and in fact they made uh, still another pin and I dropped it on the floor and couldn't find it again I think it disappeared below my machine but they're in place now no problem and Nigel wants me to harden and temper at 55 Rockwell the first one you see is uh, black here this one is already hardened so five more to go plan says to harden this little jaws at 55 Rockwell. I don't have a hardness tester but I think it's 56. <laughs> At the same time, in fact, you're polishing your nails. Right, all these little jowls are finished. Uh, the black oxide uh, coat uh, here, I think it looks good, that's why I left it on. And these are really good I think and these are a bit less good now I suppose there's a really scientific reason for that but I don't get it I'm gonna leave them just like this and Nigel he's gonna drill the little dimples on this side and the other side he's gonna do that on assembly so that will be his problem I'm gonna give them a bit of oil to prevent them from rusting. Now this is a uh, oil, that's all. Freezer bag, really handy. Because Nigel doesn't live too far away from here, maybe I can send him these parts by airmail. Nigel, your parts! 